rental car. I got it for, have it for a week, and so I thought I'm going to take it out for a ride and do a little QRP. I'm also thinking about hanging my antenna, my wire antenna, straight out the top here. I got to tell you, driving a Jeep or a car with no top is a totally different experience. There's something about not having a top on a car that's just amazing. I, I swear to God, I was listening to country music, and it sounds, country music sounds better in a Jeep or a car without a top. I don't know how. I don't know why. It just seems to make more sense. Um, okay, so it's real interesting driving this Jeep. It's big. I feel like I'm driving a tank. When you get out of a Jeep like this, when you get out and you, you step out, you're standing up. It's so weird. You just... It's not like... I'm used to having to stand up, but when you get out, you're just up. This is a Jeep... Sport Wrangler Unlimited. Um, I had a choice about 10 different cars and I just, oh, I said this one. Absolutely. Didn't even hesitate. Illinois tags. Um, I thought that these Jeeps had came in just like a hard top. I had no idea that, that you could, um, I knew you could probably take the top off, but I didn't know it like completely transformed into a different type or a different look of Jeep. So, I took just the front off because I didn't want to mess too much with the big back part. But when you take it off, you end up if you end up with the, the roll bars that kind of come down in the back. So that's what that is. I didn't know that. I thought that was just a different model entirely, but it's not. It's the same one. The top is just kind of like this fiberglass top type stuff. You know, it's almost flimsy, but it's just basically a shell. You know, I thought it might be big, heavy metal, but it's not. It's just kind of a, a light shell, and it's pretty easy to take off. The front part was pretty easy to take off. Anyway, I don't want to do a full review on this. I'm just going to tell you how freaking cool it is. Um, there's no door handles. I know you can take the doors off on these, but there, I mean, there's no window. I'm like, how do you roll the window up? I don't see it anywhere. And I think because you take the door off, it doesn't let you roll the window up and down. Not a big deal, but I would like to take the doors off. Look how freaking high off the ground that is. It is unbelievable how high off the ground this car is. It's freaking amazing. I've never had a car this high off the ground. I'm so glad I got this. Okay, so I really want to buy one of these, by the way. Ever since I saw K9 ARV, Tony, yes, so you have one of these? Now, now I have to have one. Thanks a lot, buddy. Thanks a lot. I think your name's Tony. Uh, K9 ARV is another ham radio channel, and he has a Jeep, so I thought I would be like him and get a Jeep. No, seriously, I he made me want one, seeing his car, uh, his Jeep. So I when I picked it in the rental, I picked this one, of course. But you see these bars? This is the shell that I did not know I thought this was like permanent, like part of this was permanent, but this is really the shell that goes over the the back part. Okay, this is one thing I was worried about was the trunk space, but actually, depending on the model, of course, this has plenty of trunk space. I thought there wasn't going to be enough, but this would be enough for me. Those seats would probably fold down and I could get something fairly large in there, but this is what I wanted. Just enough to throw some stuff in there, pull it out, throw it in. I like this little door here, but with this tire on, it's really heavy. Sorry guys, I did not want to give this a full review right now. That's not what I'm, I'm doing, but I just I think it's so cool that I wanted to come here and I was going to try to operate. By the way, you take the tops off, suddenly you're worried about... I threw this throw line completely over that tree. All the way over it. It's way too far actually. But I can work with it. Okay, let's take a look at the QRP Jeep setup.
Okay, what I've got. I actually added this piece since last time. MPD Digital. I paid for this. I'm not sponsored or anything. This is 6 feet RG8X, RG8X Mini Coax 17 AWG. Um, I think this is going to be a better coax for me. I wish now, I wish I've got a couple more feet. Um, but this, this setup's a little weird. Alright, so what am I doing? I threw this up into the tree. I went completely over the tree. Decided to hook my bungee here into the pack tenna. Long wire. Radio. That would be west. That would be kind of northish, northwestish. Maybe a little bit more west than north. So I'm pointed up that way, probably about, I don't know if that would be 45 degrees, that might be about 60 degrees, okay? So I'm straight over that tree. And then this is the wire that I will pull to get this back down off the tree. I'm all ready to get started on what I'm calling the, this video, Jeep QRP. Now I'm gonna be operating standing up mostly, but that's okay. I'm not gonna, not gonna spend a lot of time. I just wanna make a contact. I do wish I was not in the sun though. Um, I'm hearing lots of activity today is Saturday and uh, that's the UTC time. I change it to that, 2352 UTC. Um, lots of activity and what I was saying is I would prefer to do an inverted V. I would actually really like a balanced inverted V. The problem with that is you would have to throw it up into the tree, the center point. You'd have to have a feed point, a long wire feed point there also, which would be heavy. And then you would also have to bring the feet down, the two feet of the V, and attach them somewhere. So you'd have to have one, two, three points to worry about. And the way I do it, I just have one point. So throwing this up into one point is probably the easiest way I've found to get up and on the air. That's why I like it. And I'm making contact, so... And now, some people have mentioned that um, doing a ground wire would help, and I think it would. There is, uh, or not a ground wire, but a counterpoise. There's a way to put counterpoises in this. There's a ground wire here. You could put a banana plug in here, a banana plug, and then run it out, and that would be your ground wire. I just don't have a banana plug right now that would fit in there. That's why I don't do that. All right, I'm going to make a contact, and then and pretty hot. I don't have a lot of time. i got to get out of here. You know, it pisses me off, I hate to say it, but when you come here and people are just going so fast, they're either using a computer or they're just way too fast. I think there's a the contest going on tonight, which might actually make it easier to make contacts. I think they're using a computer. Okay, this is a contest. Um, I just contacted K0NN and contests are real easy to make. Contests are real easy to make. I got distracted there because of that guy. Um, people are wondering what I'm doing, aren't they? Hit look. Sugarland, Texas. Nice name. Okay, I mean, I made that contact without, without hesitation. I'm using 10 watts. Um, is that QRP? I call it. I don't know. I don't care. Um, I'm trying to make contacts quickly. I don't have a lot of time to mess around with low power, really low power. So I use 10 watts. Um, he heard me just like that, made a contact. Sugarland, Texas. Um, 
Uh, what's cool about this app is you can hit my grid and it will get it for you based on your GPS. You can hit the time now, now, frequency 14057 K0NM. Um, that was. That last one was a little weird. His call sign was YT9M, which sounds very strange. I actually looked it up and it didn't find it. So that may be like a foreign... What is YT9M? I'm going to have to figure that out. Anyway, made two contacts pretty quickly. Um, contests are real easy to make contests. Contacts. See if we make at least one more and then we'll probably get out of here. This uh, Pac-10 is doing really well. Really well up under the tree. Sugarland, Texas. That would mean... If that's west, Texas would be that way from me. Pretty much south. South, west, and my antenna is kind of northwestish. It is pretty nice working out of the back of your car like this because you don't have to carry anything. Did not it's pretty hot and muggy, but I didn't I'm getting used to the hot the heat. I don't need that. I forget that. You have to close this first. I have to close that. Then you close this. It's pretty cool that the spare is a real tire, you know, it's not some little donut type. Okay, so, I mean, I don't know if the conditions were really good, but making contacts is so easy. Either I'm getting better, or the conditions are really good. Um, some of my contacts were a little bit awkward because this is a contest and I don't really know what they're sending. They want uh, maybe your state and your name or something, and I was just sending my state. So I don't really know, and it kind of gets a little awkward, like, what do you want me to say, you know? And they go too fast, too, because I think they're using a computer. Anyway, this Jeep is freaking awesome. I want one. I'm getting one.